Podcast here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto with the rock and roll doctor, Casey Johnson. How did you become this fabulous rock and roll doctor? <laughs> uh, I guess I've always been into music, um, and uh, I just never thought I could be that guy. Mm -hmm. And then at some point, I don't know when it exactly happened, I thought like somebody has to be that guy, you know? So mm -hmm. I just started getting into it. Awesome. And when you say that guy, I mean, what does that mean? Being a rock and roll doctor, are you like, you diagnosing? <laughs> well, it's, it's like, it's pretty complicated. It's not, you know, it's sort of like a black art, so, you know, I can't really give away all the secrets, mm -hmm. but uh, basically, like, the main part of the practice is kind of running a radio show mm -hmm. on CIUT 89.5 FM. Um, so that's Thursday nights, midnight to two, uh, but... I mean, the really big picture, there's other things, there's like a lot of tangents to the whole thing. So, I don't know, there's like a lot of things you can do with music, and uh, I don't think they're being done. Really? Yeah. So, what things in particular do you think aren't being done that need to be explored a little bit more? That's a great question. All right, first of all, you got to feel the way you want to feel. Mm -hmm. um, you got to do what you want to do. So, even if, even if you think you should do something else, like you're like, oh, I should play this song, or... I should like this song, or I should, you know, I should say this thing. If you don't feel like doing it, you shouldn't do it. So that's kind of the mandate. Um, that that's the only rule on the radio show. Is if somebody comes on, they want to play something. I'm like, you can play whatever you want, and you can say whatever you want. But if you don't like it, you shouldn't do it. Mm, absolutely. So stay true to yourself, more or less. But it's a rigorous mandate. Like it's a, it's, it's not a sort of fair weather staying true to yourself. Mm, absolutely. It's Rigorous. Okay. <laughs> Rel relentless. <laughs> relentless reevaluation. Yeah. And do you have a favorite all-time band? Oh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. I, I have to say a little bit at the beginning. Um, there's a lot of patron saints. Bo Diddley, I'd say, like was kind of like an early um, influence for sort of what was what the show. Actually, the big problem I started off doing the show, and I started off doing like a rock and roll show, and I thought it should all be rock and roll, and then I realized like I was getting uptight because. I was doing what I thought I should do, and then, I, you know, sometimes I'd be like, I want to play this other song, and so it started off very narrow, and then I, I you know, I was like, doctor, heal thyself, and so I started to open up the, uh, the paradigm wider and wider, and now it's just sort of, the, the, the journey keeps going, basically. Awesome. And you also do some DJing on the side. How did you get into that? Well, uh... For the longest time, until, you know, sort of right about very recently, I was like, oh, the DJ is some other guy. You know, he's, he's got some kind of special equipment, and he's got some kind of special fairy dust. And I'm like, well, I've got all this, like, these nice clothes, and I have the records, and I have a show, so I figured maybe I can make money off that. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I, I occasionally I do, like, live DJ nights, and you should keep your eye out. There might be more. Mm -hmm. It's been called Rock and Roll Radio DJ Night. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, weddings stuff like that. Awesome. But I, I try to keep the, the caliber very high, so it's selective criteria. Cool. And what's the best part about DJing? I gotta say, like, when you're there in the middle of the night, like, I do the show by myself in this giant building, mm -hmm. um, it's that feeling of, like, total freedom. And if I don't like it, I can turn it off. And if I like it, I can put it on. And uh, I like the discovery. Like, I, I put on something that I think I'm gonna like. And it really feels like for the first time when I hear it on the show, it's like the first time. Sometimes it is the first time I've really heard it. But I, you know, it's that it's that feeling of like actually hearing something, mm -hmm. kind of kind of being having your mind blown away by it. Cool. And when you go to an event to live DJ, do you have an idea of what you're going to play, or is it very much kind of feeling out the space and the people and flying by the seat of your pants? Okay, there's a rig, it's part of the methodology, uh, it's very strict, and uh, so I bring more than I can play, mm. and uh, I think about it beforehand, there's a lot of rummaging, and then I bring records to the event, uh, and yeah, if I, like in an ideal world, I would be, um, I just have miles and miles of vinyl to choose from, uh, so yeah, I, I prepare, but I want to make sure that at the moment, either during the radio show or during a live thing, that um, I'm always making the decision there. Preferably being able to cue it up before playing anything. So even if it's a cool song, if it sounds bad, like in my head at that time, no go. 
-hmm. Or even if I'm playing it, I don't like it. It gets cut off. Done. Yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. Yeah, awesome. Okay. And you have some diverse interests as well in film. Can you tell me a little bit about your current project? Yeah, I mean, rock and roll radio is kind of like a the promotional wing of uh, a larger creative art kind of uh, industry. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm working on a documentary film. It's little, I mean, I wouldn't even call it a documentary. It's like maybe like the Monkees movie was a documentary. <laughs> um, it's sort of loosely a documentary about a, an interesting character, a friend of mine. Um, and I think it's going to be music heavy. Um, so we're in production for that. Uh, learning how to make movies is hard, so it's going to take a little while. But uh, I think people don't realize like film and video are at least half sound and music. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm like, I haven't made a movie before, but I have a lot of music background. So I'm doing that. I'm working on a recording studio mm -hmm. with some friends. So we're going to be uh, recording all Toronto's newest, best uh, underground rock and roll. Mm -hmm. um, all kind of, well, not rock and roll. It could be anything, mm -hmm. but um, analog, groovy stuff. Uh, working with some people from a Toronto punk band called School Jerk. Uh, so, old friends, we're sort of trying to do it the way we want to do. And where is the best place to find out more information on cool underground music in Toronto? I always want to know, and I, I don't know where to find it. Well, you ask a good question, because rock and roll radio itself is kind of a more history focused. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to find out about rock and roll radio, you go to look it up on ciut.fm, rock and roll radio. You'll find links to everything else. It'll all be linked together. There's a podcast, there's a blog. Um, CIUT is pretty good for contemporary. But you know what I mean? I'm still looking. I'm, I don't think it's quite there yet. So hopefully, once the studio is done, there'll be a much better representation of, uh, of underground, cool, or not underground, just more exciting music coming from Toronto. Thank you so much. Congratulations on all of your success and best of luck with the studio and the film and all of your upcoming projects. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto.